I recently gave a presentation at the Therapy Expo, which was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I was really nervous, but all the smiles in the crowd made me settle down and lots of people were taking pictures and videos. So I wanted to put a couple of these videos up for you guys so that you can use them to your heart's content, particularly because you were there. So you were part of the whole story. You understood that, um, you know, how, how important the assessment was, how important um, getting as much information during your subjective um, assessment is, and that that continues throughout the process of seeing your patient, they change, or your client or your athlete. These, um, these, this subjective assessment is ongoing. I also um, talked quite in depth about the, the art of listening. I think that sometimes people forget to listen to the person's story and to really take note of what these people are telling you and how their lives are being affected during the day, during their sporting life, during their sporting career, or even just in their personal life, how they're being completely affected by pain or dysfunction. It's important for you to understand and really listen to them to get to the root of their problems. I can't tell you how many times people come and see me and say, nobody's ever listened to me this way before. Nobody's ever done this an assessment in this way before. Now, I said on, uh, you know, during my presentation at Therapy Expo, that, that doesn't mean I'm special. It just means that I'm listening. And I think that, you know, I really try to get to the root of somebody's problem. It's really important to me that they are involved in the whole process. So when you look at these videos, please remember that these video, these these are just techniques. I mean, you can teach them to a 12 year old. It's how you input them and where you input them, depending on your clinical reasoning. So you will have done a full assessment and you will have decided that a manual therapy input is important at this particular moment in time. And you will be assessing that input against some form of outcome measure in order to maximize your time with the patient and optimize the result. So we want to be looking at um, the collaboration between you and your patient, athlete, client, whatever it is we want to call them these days and, and whatever your, um, you know, whoever it is that you're seeing. So it's really important to me and, um, and to obviously all of us in the, this caring profession, this service provider profession, um, it's really important that we, you know, we, it is a collaboration. So if, you're, if you have an outcome to measure your treatment against, they can see that and they can see the difference they can see that you're starting to input and therefore what that does, it really, really encourages them to be compliant with the exercises that you're giving for them for rehabilitation. So fundamentally this video was just about saying, please don't take these videos in isolation. Don't just chuck them into your, um, your everyday practice without actually coming to the decision that this is an input that you want to do due to, because of your clinical reasoning. So thank you, thanks very much. I just wanted to be clear on that. Thank you, bye.